Have you ever found yourself in a new city, craving that classic New York pizza, but you just don't know where to go? The place across the street looks sketchy, and if you're going to eat there, you'll need to see at least one good online review. In the real world, we have companies such as Yelp or Google. In the virtual world, you have Sprout. Sprout is a startup social media advertising company that offers an interactive business review platform for its clients and users. This allows VE businesses to promote themselves in a brand new and unique way, while also gaining valuable feedback which assists in maintaining quality control. The company has established itself as a C corporation as of October 2017. My name is Jason Mashia, CEO of Sprout, and I am here with my management team. The company's mission is to cultivate connections between firms and consumers in the virtual enterprise network. By providing a platform where interaction between both parties is encouraged, the company aims to become the central social networking platform for the entire VEI community. With Sprout, we are all growing new connections. Sprout's short-term goals consist of obtaining a net profit of $500,000 and establishing itself as the central platform for all the interaction within New York City. Sprout's long-term goals are to launch a mobile application and ultimately become the superior alternative to the VEI firm directory. All of these goals will be achieved by gaining clients and building a strong online presence. Dylan? Sprout operates under a traditional line of authority based on the chain of command. This is depicted in the organizational chart, which illustrates the company's hierarchical structure. Sprout delegates tasks through weekly chief officer meetings as well as the company's shared drive. In order to effectively monitor the company's progress, Sprout utilizes employee evaluations, shared Google Docs, and its own Sprout page. These strategies allow for the company to gain both an internal and external perspective as to the quality of services it provides. The Sprout's strengths consist of workers' creativity and technological expertise, attributing to the aesthetic design, development, and maintenance of Sprout's website, SproutNY.org. The company's weaknesses consist of limited brand recognition and therefore its limited client portfolio. To remedy this, Sprout will continue to promote itself through several forms of digital media advertising to gain recognition. Since Sprout is unlike any other existing VEI firm, one of its opportunities lies in its absence of direct competitors. Another opportunity for Sprout is that it fulfills the need for a more interactive VEI firm directory, while also providing a user-friendly business review platform. As the only business review platform in the VEI network, Sprout may encounter new competition. However, since Sprout has already established strong relationships with its clients, the appearance of a new competitor would not pose an immediate threat to Sprout. Another threat to Sprout is the dismantling of the neutrality legislation. This means that internet service providers could charge websites more for faster loading speeds. If necessary, the company will adjust its prices while still maintaining its quality services. Compared to 1.7 real GDP growth in 2016, real GDP for the year of 2017 was 2.3%. Interest and inflation rates are remaining low at approximately 4.5 and 2.1% respectively. Unemployment rates are around 4.1%. All of this means that along with the economy, businesses are expanding. They are hiring more workers, leading to an increase in consumer spending and therefore increasing company sales. This allows these companies to spend more on advertising services such as Sprouts. Over the past few years, social media has become a large part of consumers' daily lives. Social media advertising revenues have increased 830% from $1.2 billion in 2012 to $9.3 billion in 2016, showing that companies have been focusing their promotional efforts towards social media platforms. This gives Sprout an opportunity to operate within a rapidly growing industry. Maybe. Only 29 out of 518 virtual firms are a part of the advertising industry, with a total sales revenue of approximately $18 million. Due to Sprout's one-of-a-kind business review platform and the need for every VEI business to advertise themselves, Sprout is given the opportunity to become the leading advertising company in the VEI network. As the first business review platform in the VEI network, Sprout has only indirect competitors. These include Vivid, Dash, and New Apps. Sprout, Vivid, and Dash post advertisements on vinternational.org as certified ad vendors. Yet in addition to being a certified ad vendor, Sprout links its clients' advertisements to their customized Sprout pages. New Apps has recently launched the application V+, which similarly, similarly to Sprout creates business profile pages. Despite this, Sprout still remains the sole business review platform in the VI network, fostering connections in many more forms than any of its competitors. 
Sprout targets VEI businesses that desire to brand themselves effectively. The company will also appeal to VEI consumers who seek a platform where they can learn about and review these businesses. The company then segments these groups geographically by New York and California. For businesses, Sprout demographically targets those whose customers are of Generation Z, psychographically targeting those who desire a strong online reputation. For consumers, Sprout demographically targets teenagers of Generation Z, while psychographically targeting those who believe in the importance of consciously engaging in a well-connected platform. Sprout provides all of its clients with advertising in the form of a Sprout page. A Sprout page is an online profile for any VEI business which can be enhanced through the purchase of Sprout's various packages. Each page revolves around the review section. This helps clients maintain quality control and provides users with instant gratification when their reviews are addressed. Sharon? The company utilizes cost-based and competitive-based pricing to ensure profitability and to maintain competitively priced services. Sprout also adopts bundle pricing to provide clients with the ability to purchase multiple services for a discounted price. An estimated 13% of Sprout's annual income comes from trade show sales, 32% from non-VE sales, and 55% from online sales via business outreach. Sprout promotes itself with strategies similar to those used in promoting its own clients, from digital media advertising, a personal Sprout page, reaching out to clients, and personal selling. By posting advertisements on vinternational.org as certified ad vendors, Sprout will gain brand recognition. Sprout positions itself as the central social media advertising and business review platform for all of VEI. The company must take into account its risks and implement risk management plans in order to mitigate them. One risk is that the company has decided not to offer a 401k plan in its first year of operations. This could make Sprout's employees feel undervalued. However, to motivate them, Sprout will be implementing a retroactive 401k plan next year. Another risk is that the company's sales projections are not met. If this were to happen, the company would host its own mini trade shows to increase its sales. Sprout's break-even analysis shows an annual fixed cost of $1,106,000, a very low cost of $194,000, and a break-even point at $1,300,000. This shows that the company must sell only 33 packages with an 85% profit margin in order to break even. As of February 28th, Sprout has reached its break-even point and has begun generating profit. In the projected income statement for the fiscal year 2017 to 2018, Sprout projects a net profit of $500,000. For the month of October, Sprout experienced an expected net loss of $178,000 due to Sprout's required one-month one training program for its employees as a startup firm. The company has been generating sales consistently throughout the year and projects higher sales revenue in April due to the annual New York City trade show. By the end of the fiscal year, Sprout projects a gross profit of $1,890,000, a gross income from operations of $770,000, and a net profit of $500,000. In the projected cash budget for the fiscal year 2017 to 2018, Sprout ends its first month of operations with a cash balance of $170,000 from its investors. By the end of the fiscal year, Sprout projects an ending cash balance of approximately $853,000. Sprout encourages its clients to set up a monthly reoccurring payment system or to pay in a lump sum upfront for a discounted price minimizing accounts receivables, and maintaining a healthy cash flow throughout the fiscal year. In Sprout's balance sheet ending on February 28, 2018, assets are at $858,000, liabilities at $132,000, and stockholders' equity at $726,000. This shows a current ratio of 6 to 1, demonstrating Sprout's ability to pay back its debt and a high liquidity rate of 95%. These results show Sprout's ability to accumulate assets and stockholders' equity and therefore be a profitable investment. As of today, Sprout has secured 80% of the New York City firms and has generated a net profit of $422,000. Tomorrow, at the New York City trade show, Sprout expects to easily surpass its $500,000 net profit projections. For the future, the company is looking to launch its mobile application even earlier than expected. So the next time you find yourself in our virtual city, 
and you don't know where to get that fresh cup of coffee or awesome athletic wear, check it out on SproutNY.org to see what people are saying. As Benjamin Franklin once said, an investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um, obviously, your uh, social media application inside of a VEI, uh, there's a small company that we've all heard about in the news called Facebook. Uh, how, how have the issues that you've seen with Facebook either impacted your operations or, uh, more importantly, your strategy going forward? Uh, so recently, given the Facebook data scandal, uh, Sprout has taken a few steps in order to prevent such things as happening. First of all, we have a very strict privacy policy. In, in terms of the information that we collect, it's only someone who leaves a review. So let's say someone wants to leave a review on a Sprout page. All you have to do is leave your name, your VEI firm, and your email. And this is known, none of these are known as personally identifiable information, which is what the Facebook scandal is all about. Really, the researchers were selling the information in order to market that information to other companies. And we don't give any of their information away to third parties. And in addition to this, our privacy policy is very strict. And the information that we take is strictly to validate the reviews, nothing else. I have a question about, uh, as you were planning your financials, um, what, what conclusions or changes did you make to your company's strategy to ensure financial success? I see that you have a subscription model for all of the VEI firms, but did you think about an ad sales model or a combination of the two as part of your financial planning? So it, it's interesting that you mentioned that. So um, this is actually has to do with one of Sprout's greatest challenges as well. In the beginning of the year, uh, we had a pricing model where we displayed to our clients our first month's payment along with the one-time creation fee as one whole price. Um, we saw that clients were were not too fond of, these, of one whole large price, so we decided to change it up and, and change the pricing model of our packages. So instead of one whole price, we included the, the first month's payment and the $4,000 uh, creation fee for any page. And by changing up that pricing model, it, it incentivized more users to, uh, more clients to buy our services. Um, Sharon, do you want to talk about how we minimize accounts receivable as well? Our company limits accounts receivables by making it a book sale when our client pays for the initial payment, whether it is uh, by clicking the Buy Now button on our website or by transferring money directly into our bank account. Sprout also encourages our clients to set up a monthly recurring payment system or to pay in a lump sum upfront for a discounted price. Our finance department also calls, emails, and sends invoices and basically communicates with our clients in any way possible to notify them about their overdue accounts receivables. Can you guys talk a little bit about why you decided not to do a 401k for your employees? Uh, sure. So as a startup, uh, Sprout saw that it was difficult to finance a full 401k plan for our employees. And this is why I chose to do it in the next year because we wanted to allocate more funds towards our the growth of the company. So we, we are implementing a retroactive 401k plan next year at the same rate as average companies have. So, um, the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates uh, now and into the future, at least foreseeably. Uh, what have you done to prepare yourself for that, and what impact do you see it having in the future? So the current interest rate is around four. The prime rate is around 4.5 percent, um, and we do see Sprout does see a forecast of increasing interest rates in the future. So. What we do is that we are a cost-effective alternative to traditional advertising. So this, here's what this means. If the industry were to go up, that means com uh, companies would have a lower incentive to take out loans. However, since Sprout is a cost-effective alternative, a lot of these companies will still come to us in any economic market because we are a cost-effective alternative to traditional advertising. Any other questions, panelists, judges? How'd you come up with the logo? Well, at Sprout, our mission is to cultivate and grow connections within the VI network. Uh, therefore, we want to represent this by having a Sprout growing from our seed. Uh, we've replaced the O in the word Sprout with a seed that's about to start growing. Um, 
this really represents the growth that begins when you have a sprout page. Sorry. <laughs> um, green, is a, green is a strong color that represents money and growth and positivity in a lot of people's lives. Um, additionally, Sprout. Addi <laughs> sorry. Additionally, Sprout. Um, st Sprout stresses the importance of growing. And everybody who starts a company or is an entrepreneur looks at their business as their baby, as their seed. And with this, you view, you view the Sprout logo and know that your company is about to start growing. So just to add on, um, we base our packages, I mean, um, Don, can you go to the packages slide? So we base our packages off of this theme as well. So once she pulls up that slide, you'll see that we have the sapling part package, which is the smallest one, and then we, we grow into the pollen, which spreads rapidly, and then garden, and that's when your Sprout page fully flourishes. Um, we also have additional features such as the seed feed, which allows you a company to post developments uh, on, on our homepage and discover the roots, which lets a company uh, put their, their employee's name, title, and a quote about them. Because we decided to call uh, these services discover the roots and seed feed because, well, a seed feed you can post developments, so it's like in, in your rhymes, which we love. And then discover the roots is really the foundation of a company, the employees. So by having this theme of growing new connections, we really we were able to base our packages with these great names. Excellent presentation, thank you.